You got a big hairy goal, but you need a little motivation. Here is a great tool to use. Yes, I'm back, Fred Moore, time management expert and bald guy. Talking about a big hairy goal. I don't know what I know about hair, right? Do I know about, well hair, yeah. A big goal that you have and sometimes these goals that you have, they're not going as well as you hope they would. So you need a little motivation. You can do it, yes. I don't know, that was a really bad Rob Schneider impersonation. Sorry about that. You need a little motivation. Here's a tool that I have used for many years to help me keep myself motivated. It's a great motivational tool that you can use. And actually it's a tool that I didn't really forget about it, but I forgot how powerful it was and how memorable it was. This happened a few years ago, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago. I was working on a cruise ship as an entertainer. It's my background. Actually, my background is that. But anyway, and a friend of mine happened to be on this cruise. I hadn't seen him in probably a couple of years, but we used to hang out all the time. He was a fellow magician, and he remembers back in the 90s. I've been doing this a while. Uh, back in the 90s, he would come over to my apartment. We'd hang out and stuff, a bunch of friends, and I had this thing that I called a goal wall, right? That's the, that's the tool. You're going to create a goal wall. It was a wall of, guess what? goals right i had listed on this wall the goals that i wanted and he saw them what's this i said it's my goal wall these are the things that i i'm gonna make happen and he's like oh okay well years ago when we met on the cruise ship he was like i remember going to your apartment and seeing that goal wall and i was thinking wow that's it's kind of stupid i mean okay just you know can't you just remember them why do you have to have them up here he goes, yeah, at the time I thought it was kind of silly, kind of stupid, but look at you now. <laughs> I guess it worked. I'm like, yeah, that's why I was doing it. When you create a goal wall, it's going to help motivate you. It's going to help you get to your goal. You're going to keep on being motivated. And this goal wall that you have, mine is in my office. It, it, you want to have it someplace where you can see it every single day. Could be your office, could be the fridge, could be your bathroom mirror. Unless you have a small mirror, then it's like, how do I shave? I can't see my, all my goals are in the way. Oh, no. That's for dudes, you know, that's for guys. How do I shave with my legs? Uh, I don't know. But just find a place that you see every single day that you can have this goal wall. No, it doesn't have to be a physical wall. You could have it as the uh, wallpaper on your computer. You could have post-it notes around your TV screen on the edge of your, your big giant honking TV screen there. You could have it uh, on your phone and just have it as the, the first thing that pops up is that. You just want to make sure it's someplace that's accessible, that you're going to see it without even thinking about it. You're just going to kind of walk into the room. And go, oh, yeah, yeah, there's that thing right over there. Yeah, I bought my microphone. Is it still working? I think it is. Hello. Yes, it is. Good. But someplace that you're going to see it every day, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to go, all right, let me go. Let me open up my notebook. Let me look at my goals for the day. No, you want it to be easy. And in this goal wall, there's going to be three things that you need on this goal wall. I take a piece of paper and I will print out three things on this. First of all is a specific goal. Not a vague goal, not a uh, hope one day to maybe do. No, a specific goal goal not i want to lose weight not i want to be rich it's i want to lose 10 pounds i want to make an extra fifty thousand dollars this year this month this week it's a goal right make it a good one have this goal wall turn out a very specific goal this goal has got to be specific the more specific it is the easier it's going to be to get this goal of yours because if it's specific, then you know what you need to do. I want to lose weight. Well, there's a million things that you could do to lose weight. I want to lose 10 pounds, okay? I want to lose 10 pounds. How do I lose 10 pounds? Well, start thinking about the things that you need. Very specific goal, okay? First step. Second step is two. Make sure it has a deadline. Make sure this goal has a deadline. When are you going to complete this goal? When is your deadline? nothing motivates you like a deadline, right? How many people studied for the big test the night before? Hey, and look where I am now. Where am I? I don't know. 
not my office, that's for sure. Make sure it has a deadline. Uh, but make sure that this is a realistic goal. The goal and the deadline to be realistic. Why would they, why would you not set up a realistic goal? That just seems silly, right? Here's the thing. You may set this goal as, all right, I'm going to lose 10 pounds by tomorrow. I want to lose 20 pounds by the end of the week. It's not a realistic goal. It's not a realistic deadline. The only way you can do that is either lose a limb or gamble in the UK because they use pounds there, right? Yeah. No. But people will do this because it gives themselves an out. I set this big goal, right? I'm setting, I'm shooting for the stars. That's why I'm, you know, shoot for the moon. Shoot for the moon, you still end up in the stars. No. They're shooting for the moon. They're trying to get this goal of theirs. But they're not making it realistic. And by doing that, they can tell themselves, well, hey, look, I tried. I set this wonderful goal and I tried to do it, but it didn't happen. So now I don't have to try anymore. Yay. See, if it were easy, everybody would be doing it, right? But it's not. That's why you need a little more motivation. Now have this goal wall, like I said, print it out on your wall. And once you complete the goal, you're not done with it yet. No, because it can still motivate you. Whenever I have a goal that's completed, that's been on my goal wall, I will put a big check mark across it, take it down, and put it at the bottom of the wall. I'll have them stacked up down there. Because there are times when you're going after your goal and maybe it's not going as well as you would like it to, right? It's like, eh, well, you know, I wish it would, I wish things were going better. Maybe, maybe I can't do this goal, right? You get a little unmotivated. Is that a word? I don't know. But by just looking down now at those other goals that you have completed, that's going to motivate you for these goals, Right? The goals you've gotten completed are motivating. The goals that you're trying to get motivated about. What? It's crazy. You can look and go, oh, yeah, you know what? I, I didn't think I could do these things either, and yet I did. So now I know I can make these goals happen. Goal wall. Try it out. Check it out. Use it. Use it. Use it wisely. Do me a favor. As always, like, share, comment on this video. Send this out to your friends. Let them get to know about this goal wall, right? Maybe they'll get what they want and they can help you get what you want. And if you would like more, if you want more of your time back, then you can check out 5hoursback.com. There's a video and a PDF on there that's going to give you some tools, some tricks and tips to get on average about five hours back in your week. Five hours that you can use to to relax, to have fun, to create something, to spend time with a loved one, to just plain do so much more. I'll see you next time.